But first tonight, a Bear County judge hands down a strong punishment for a man accused of chopping up another man's body. But some worry he could still be a danger while in prison. Eyewitness News reporter Erica Zuko explains why even after sentencing, this case isn't closed. Life in prison for a man convicted of murder, dismembering and burning a man's remains. But now we've learned he may have been involved in another crime. As Daniel Moreno Lopez prepared to face a judge, he made an obscene gesture. Then he sat quietly, flanked by deputies, as his defense attorney made a final pitch to get him less than life in prison. To sentence Mr. Lopez to 55 years in prison. I believe in his case that would be an appropriate sentence which would certainly send a message. Prosecutors say Lopez was angry. Jose Menchaca stabbed him over a drug deal gone wrong. So he beat him with a baseball bat, strangled him, dismembered his body, and burned the remains on a grill. Based on witness testimony, they say he may have done the same to an ex-girlfriend. So they asked for life in prison, but said even there, he'd need extra eyes on him. He is clearly a threat to anybody in everyone who he is around, whether he is incarcerated or out on the street. Judge Ron Ron Hell agreed and gave him life in prison. But the sentencing hearing opened new questions, like whether more charges could be filed and what's next for everyone affected, including the victim's girlfriend. It hurts emotionally and mentally to make it work in the morning. It's hard. And though we have a pretty clear picture of Lopez's future, there's still a lot of questions left unanswered for the other people in this case. Reporting from the Bear County Justice Center, Erica Zuko, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News.